Welcome learners to Form 4 Mathematics. I'd like us to look at a question here that uh, is tested, normally tested, carrying 10 marks, and it is to do with application of differentiation. Application of differentiation from force. Let us look at it. A particle, a particle moves along a straight line such that its displacement as meters from a given point is s is equals to t cubed minus 5t squared plus 3t plus 4 where t is time in seconds. This is the expression for distance or displacement in terms of t where the t, t refers to time in seconds. So you are told find the displacement of the particle at t is equals to 5 learn. This is the expression for displacement. What is the displacement of the particle at t is equals to 5. So learn, uh, we write our expression for displacement as is equals to t cubed minus 5t squared plus 3t plus 4. Then you just come and substitute t is equals to 5 here. Replace t with 5. So displacement s, learn, displacement s, the symbol for displacement is s, is equals to 5 r cubed minus 5, 5 squared plus 3, fix your 5 there, plus 4, just that. And therefore, what is your s, learn? You use a calculator, you fix all this in a calculator, and you should get 19 meters. 19 meters. We go to the second one, learn. Find the velocity of the particle at t is equals to 5. Velocity, v, learn, v. So you are given the expression for s. s is equals to t cubed minus 5 t squared plus 3t plus 4, learn. So what is your V expression for velocity? Remember, if you are given S to get V learn, what do you do? You differentiate. Remember those kinematics, S, V, A. If you have S, that is displacement expression, and you want to get V, you differentiate. If you have V to go to A for acceleration, you differentiate. So as you go down like that, we talk of differentiation, SVA. We normally call it SVA. So we differentiate S with respect to T. So how do we differentiate? Remember, you drop these three down here. So you write three. T raised to what? You subtract only from the power. It is two. Minus. Take these two down here, multiply by five, gives us ten. Then T raised to what? Subtract one from the power. It will be one. There's no need of writing the one thing. Then plus what? Come to this one. It is raised to power 1. Drop this 1 here. Multiply with 3. It gives you 3. Then t raised to 1. Subtract 1. You'll be left with t raised to 0. t raised to 0 is 1. Any number raised to 0 learn is 1. And therefore, when you drop this one here, you get 3. And therefore, t is raised to 1 minus 1, which is t is raised to 0, which is 1. So, 3 times 1 remains as 3. Then, differentiating a constant learn, that one, we know that it gives us 0. Differentiating a number there of that kind, the, uh, it gives us 0. And so, this is the expression for velocity. So, the question is, what is the velocity at t is 5? You just come and substitute. So V is equals to 3. Your T is 5. 5 squared minus 10. 5 there. Plus what? Plus 3. I hope you can see that. Plus 3 there. Line. Okay? From there, you use a calculator. You use a calculator correctly. You'll get 28 meters per second. That is the of that particle. We go to part C, learn. 
Find the values of T. Find the values of T when the particle is momentarily at rest. When the particle is momentarily at rest, what is T? When a particle is momentarily at rest, learn. When something is at rest, velocity is zero. This is the beginning point of this. Apart, velocity is zero. So you come and write the expression for velocity. Look at that expression for velocity. Where you have V, you now fix it zero. So I can write this as 3T squared minus 10T plus 3 is equals to zero. Lana. So from here, solve this quadratic equation. Product is 3 times 3, which is 9. Sum is negative 10. Which are these numbers, Lana? that you add to get negative 10. It's negative 1 and negative 9. If you added this, you'd get this. If you multiplied the lana, you'd get that. Solving quadratic equation. So take these and fix them here. So you talk of 3t squared minus t, 1t, which is t, minus 9t, then we continue plus 3. Remember all this from 2 up, Lana. There we are. So you substitute these figures here uh, joined to T. So there we are. From there, factor out what is common there, T. And therefore, 3T minus 1. Check on that. Minus. What do we factor out here? 3, Lana. If you factor out 3, you'll be left with 3T. Minus, not a plus now, minus 1 is equals to 0. This time it has to change. So that if you wanted to remove the bracket, you say minus times minus, we'll go back to pl plus lana. From here, lana, you come and say this bracket is common. So you talk of 3t minus 1 is common. And therefore you are left with t minus 3. Check on this. Is equals to? Zero. So either this bracket lana is equals to zero or t minus three is equals to zero. And therefore three t is equals to take this to the other side, divide by three, and therefore t is equals to a third of a second. Or you come to this other one, t is equals to three seconds. Those are the times when the particle will be momentarily at rest when the velocity will be zero. Finally, Lana, you've told to find the acceleration, the A, Lana, of the particle when T is 2. So, you come and write the, the expression for velocity. There we are. That is velocity, Lana. So, from velocity, we get A. If you are given V to get A, we differentiate. Remember, SVA, SVA, differentiate. Differentiate this, bring this here, multiply, you get 60. Minus, the power is 1 there, bring it here, multiply, you get 10. 10, T raised to what? It was raised to power 1. If you subtract 1 there, you'll be left with T raised to 0 again, which is 1. Any number raised to 0 is 1, Lana. So once you multiply, you bring this down here, you multiply, you get that t will be raised to 0. And t raised to 0 is 1. So there is no need of writing it. 1 times this is 10. So this is the expression for acceleration. So what is a when t is 2? You come and fix your 2 here. 6, 2, minus 10. So a is 12, minus 10. Which is what, Lana? We are coming to the end, 2 meters per second squared. This is the acceleration of the particle. God bless you, Lana. Go through this problem, internalize it. These are questions that are normally tested, carrying 10 marks. Don't miss the 10 marks, Lana. Practice. God bless you so much.